So, did you know it's possible to journey beyond the abyss? Hello everyone, welcome back. Let me just check something real quick. Yep, indeed, OBS is recording. Sorry, I've had a couple of false starts. So, today we are going to be digging a little bit deeper into the abyss in search of some more technical knowledge that has eluded us so far this chapter. But no longer soon we shall have all that tasty, tasty knowledge all for ourself. But we have a few last second little bits of preparation to go through that I honestly thought of just while I was preparing for this episode today. First of all, we need to empty out all that sand we gathered up just at the end of, yes of last episode and get our hunger back to full. Second of all, we're going to prepare a little ready station over by our moon pool just to make sure that we are only carrying exactly what we need and nothing more. Because if I lose my gear that deep into the abyss, I don't think I'm going to want to get it back. So I'm only going to want to take exactly what I need. So let's just make ourselves a little storage shelf. And let's start offloading all our tools. So first of all, the Tinker's Hammer, not going to need that today. We'll just put that in its own little shelf. The rest of it we'll put in our ready room over here. So, the fancy pants, I might need. The jungle pods, no. Bucket, sadly not. The chisel, yes, we will be needing. The arrows, yes. The amulet, no, we won't need that. Eh, no. No, we won't need our money, not where we're going. Yes, we will need food, and we might as well bring a flashlight. Might as well bring some torches. Yes, we need our bow. Yes, we need our pickaxe just because we need for silk touch. But everything else? Everything else can go. And the gear we're wearing is good gear. Next, I want to go and check by the cidery to see if they have something special for me. I think I've mentioned this a couple of times, but the Normans produce a special type of booze over at their cidery. One that can help us out in certain delving situations. So, let's just hop on over. If it's not in the cidery, it'll be inside of the, uh, inside of the inn, the tavern, whatever you want to call it. Come on, where's the sell point for this place? Does the cidery not sell you directly? Ah, no, here we are. Here we are. We just needed to finagle our way inside. Ah, uh, they only sell cider apples. My mistake. So it must be over at the inn. You can tell it's been a little while since I've really gone this deep into Millionaire. So, barkeep. No, I don't want to do a quest for you. N no, go. Oh, you're a guard. You're not the barkeep. Oh, they don't have any Calva. Shoot. Well, it was worth a try. Yes. Both Cider and Calva will give you a regeneration effect and a few seconds of nausea, but Calva will give you longer regeneration and shorter nausea, I think. Well, regardless. I think I want to pick up just a few more sets of Tripe, just in case, because Tripe also has a healing effect. For our combat healing, why is there a monster in our bay? We forgot to light up the top of the coke oven. Well, it's a good thing that we took a little trip away, I guess. And this gives us a nice kind of a blooding for our bow before we use it for any serious purpose. Yes, we definitely want to make sure that anytime we build a tall structure that we activate F7 mode and... Oh. It's because I'm holding a torch. Yes, that we activate F7 mode and make sure that it doesn't have spawnable space on it. Anyway. Yes, just maybe one more piece of tripes. Okay. And with that, I believe it is time to go into the hole. And this time we will go further beyond... Let's put our chisel on our slot there. 
And before I go into level two of the abyss, I'm going to want to grab like a stack and a bit of glowstone just so that I have lights because the abyss gets really, really dark, especially on the lower level. So just kind of swim around, gather up any obvious big nodules of glowstone that are available. And this is why we brought the chisel because as you can see by default, it is super heavy. But as I found out by accident in the decorating episode, if you just take it in a chisel and you turn it into any of these, really, suddenly it's a whole lot lighter. Yeah. Very few recipes do that these days, but glowstone's one of them. Let's just have a block of glowstone on there just to keep this area lit while I'm following this line. And keep on glowifying. Get rid of any other dross. I'd say I'd set up filters, but I don't think I, I, I don't think I want that intense. We'll just we'll just keep on. Yeah, yeah see it's a bit annoying because now I need to make sure that I constantly chisel them if I want to keep on moving. Because glowstone, default glowstone is 10 kilograms per heavy, heavy stuff. You pick up even a tiny bit of it and you're already done. Alright, that's probably good enough. So, now we just follow the reeds back on down. And... Let's say hello to Mr. Pufferfish. Yes. Remember back when this used to be a bit of a problem just because our air would be depleting so fast? I love the rubber either. And I think our upgraded wetsuit lets us descend really quickly by holding shift. Faster even than I can sprint swim down. So. Huh. Neat. No dehydration. Let's kill us a fishy. You're fishy, fishy. Why are there two? Oh, he gave me the mining fatigue. That sucks. But it's only a temporary little one. Yep. And from the monument, you follow these lines of glowstone, and that leads you to here. Now I'm just going to... Abyss, portal, L1, to 2. Eh, let's specify further down. Yeah, there we go. And... Ooh, pitch black. Oh, that's because it's still loading. Silly me. Yeah, now pitch black. Ooh, only see. Yeah, you see why I brought tons of glowstone? So, abyss portal up. L2, 1. There we go. Just kind of keep a track. Yeah, so notice that we can still see other portals around. They ain't even all that far away. We aren't in another dimension, technically. We're kind of just displaced. So let's descend on down and see if I can find... Ah, I'm on the ground. Then why... Does this not light my way when I'm holding it in my hand? Well, it's a good thing we brought the flashlight. Normally, glowstone provides light when you're holding it in your hand, but it looks like chiseled glowstone don't work that way. So yes, let's just kind of light up the general area a little bit. Make this kind of a bit more obvious. Where we're looking. Yeah, look at that. It doesn't go like even three blocks before it just falls off to complete black. This is a bit beyond the abyss. But also look at the resources that we have in this area. We have iron blocks. We have netherrack. Can I mine straight up netherrack? No, I just get chunks. And I think that these are pebble chunks. Yeah. Need nine of them to get a single netherrack. 
And if I want to soul sand, it would be even more intensive. Oof. I mean, not that I really have much use for soul sand right now anyway. But that's besides the point. Yes. We are... Now, I know from searching in creative mode that I, I know where to go in general. But I kind of forget the specifics. So, let's just keep a nice little glowing crumb trail going in this direction and kind of just work along the wall. Make sure that we can... We don't even really need to bother looking ahead just because there ain't nothing to see ahead. Uh, and here we are. We have a little fall off here. Working our way down. It may need... It may end up being that I need to surface into higher levels of... Ah, and here we are. Redstone. Isn't this lovely? And I think that I will just keep that in the fancy pants for now. Just because we were a bit short on redstone when I blew it all on uh, on playing with igniters. Yep. And, uh, of course, eventually we'll be doing more intensive mining trips down onto this level. Just because... This is obviously the good stuff in terms of resources. We won't want for iron. We can make all the redstone devices that we want. Is it possible to turn... To make redstone dust out of redstone blocks? Should be. Yeah, just hammer those. And I think there's an automated way to do that. Big hole... Maybe I didn't get enough glowstone. Can we see up there? Yeah. Maybe I did not bring enough glowstone. And I don't quite remember if I'm going the right way or not. We might have some exploration to do. The unfortunate thing is, I'm really close to having the means of making night vision potions. But unfortunately, I need the books in this area in order to manufacture the things I need to make night vision potions. Ain't that just how it goes? I can see up there? Yeah, I can see up there. Where's the wall? Yeah, just kind of... Hug snug along. I might be lost. I possibly should have done a practice run in creative mode world before coming here. Oh boy. Well, if I do end up having to cheese the coordinates, I will... Ah, there we are. That is our goal. I wasn't completely lost. I shouldn't have lost faith. I just needed to start looking ahead again. But yes, that, that's kind of how it goes, is you just kind of keep on hugging the leftward winding path and you'll find your way to this wonderful glowing sandstone pyramid deep within this dark layer of the abyss. Now, I'm lighting up this one quite extensively because this is going to be a little bit of a project getting into this thing. It is not full of friendlies, and let us poke an air hole and refill. Yes, it's nice that uh, all we need for air is to just dig a hole. It's not like this is leading to vacuum or nitrogen or anything like that. No, it's all pure, breathable O2. Very, very friendly. So, yes. I don't know if I have any use for the beacon. Yes, it wouldn't be recognized by me. 
So, first we just poke a hole in the top, and there's Electrical Engineering. That's one of three books we have available right now. Next, how do I want to take it from there? Because that's the only one I can get for free without really cheesing it. And I don't know the coordinates to really cheese it. I guess next, let's dig in here. And kind of, yep, there we go. Merman! Just kind of circle strafe dodge around and fire blindly. It'll work eventually. Can I get a... No, no. And yes, they have wither effect on them. It's really nasty. But that's why we bring the tripes. And why I wish I could bring the calva. Where yet? Come on. Show yourself, coward. He says as he cowers. How's our ammunition? Let's get that on our hotbar. That should cause it to regenerate. Anyone? Anyone? Bueller? Okay, let's light up the area inside. This will make it easier for future expeditions. It may be that I need to surface and get more glowstone. But if we can get the interior lit a bit, then that should help us out immensely. Aha! Uh -huh. uh -huh. No, I do not consent. Bad touch. All right. Yeah. I should have got more glowstone. Well, that is an easy fix. Especially now that we have a nice glowing breadcrumb trail. So yeah, that isn't too terribly hard, so long as you deal with it cautiously. And bring ample supplies... Where? Where is trail? It's not leading up. What the heck is going on here? Okay, maybe I didn't mark my trail very well. Follow from our last lead. So, goes up there, goes over there. Ah, there's a problem. It's that I kind of wandered in a circle, blindly. Yes, I am very bad at navigating completely black, blank spaces. I just don't have echolocation to go off of. But after clearing up that confusion, it gets a lot easier. So let's be safe and refill our air first. Let's just poke a hole right here. Just because Mr. Pufferfish might not appreciate the visit. Let's put some of the heavy stuff in the fancy pants. I mean, we wouldn't want to waste a block of gold after all. One of those prismarines is infected. Probably a couple of things are infected. Okay, and here we are back at the uh, Monument X. We, you know, we don't even need to go up to the next level. We can just kind of find a wall and start plucking it. It's fine. There we are. 
And I am not sure... Let's just go with this. I am not sure if my arrows are regenerating still. Let me try putting them in my hand. See if that helps any. Keep on keeping on. Right, I have the portal marked on my map, so I shouldn't lose it easily. Shoot, I should have marked the pyramid. You always think of the most useful thing to do as soon as you... As soon as it's too late to do it. Ain't that just the way it goes? Lovely, lovely. Big vein of glowy stone. And that'll hopefully be enough to avail us of the pyramid's secrets. Yes, it looks like the XP tank is out, so yes, it, it really didn't hold up for very long, did it? But that is all right. We'll just make do with what we have. Back down into the abyss. Back down into the second layer of the abyss we go. This time with navigation a bit easier. The heck? Just got swatted by a ghost. Or clip my head into the ceiling, whichever works. Ah, here we go. Compl <laughs> yes, I definitely need to clean up my line a little bit, it looks like. And this time, let's mark the... L2 Pyramid. Let's change from purple, much as I love purple. And if they've revived, because these guys revive infinitely, hopefully they'll be a bit easier to fight now that I can somewhat see. Where are you? There are you. Need light near the entrance most of all. I'm really not built for blind fighting. Hell, I'm a lover, not a fighter in general. Sneaky little cuss. Well, ain't that just the way it goes? Let's just get this area more or less completely lit as best we can. God, that light falls off fast. And these guys revive pretty fast, so yep. Let's just get out of there. Always keep your exit clear and visible, because, yeah, that was almost bad. Maybe I should have brought more tripe. Is he hiding? I've got to be hitting him dead on. How is he doing this? There. Now you sit and think about what you've done. Yeah, these guys are like weird 
disjointed jawed mermen. I can't really get a good look at them without night vision, but they look freaky. So really, it's good that they hide in the shadow where they belong. So there's a hole down into another layer of abyssal maze, but I'm not really seeing the way I need to go anywhere. That's bad. That was very nearly bad. Whoo, boy. Yeah, let's take a moment to unclench after that one. How are we doing on ammo? Yeah. Okay. Maybe doing this the legit way was a little bit of a decision. Maybe we should have just gone good old nacho cheesier. Maybe we should have just gone good old nacho cheesier. Okay, let's let's try and cheese it manually. Oh boy. Are they just out and about now? Have I ruined the cheese? Get this pyramid completely lit. Give myself a nice battleground. Because if that Goldilocks one revives, I really want to see where the hell he is. If he didn't just teleport back to where he... No, he's right there. He is right there. Okay, let's... Let's try and guess where the books are and kind of undermine our way in. Goldilocks, is that you? No, who is that? Because I really don't want to be back down to two lives and be waiting on a third, as well as rebuilding some of my equipment again. You just stay sleeping. Stay asleep. Wait, is that part of the proper entrance hall? Yeah, I, I just worked my way into the dang proper entrance, I think. I'm out of lights. Well, <clears throat> attempt number one was a bit of a flop. We need to go back. We need to get more tripe. And I'm just going to go all the way home. Yeah, Mr. Pufferfish isn't a threat. Ooh, boy. I don't think fighting them would be too bad if they didn't wither. The fact that they wither means that I'm kind of fighting to keep my health up. And if, you know, I could see. If I had proper vision, that wouldn't really be a fight. That would just be... 
it, well, it, it would be, it wouldn't be nothing, but it wouldn't be as impossible as it has proven to be so far. Eh, yeah, let's eat the book just in case we lose our way. I'm not sure what... Can I... At electrical? No. At stage? No. So I don't know exactly what that is just unlocked, but I have an idea. I think it was mostly the Project Red stuff. Like, I think if... I search up... Why is any I? No. That isn't? Yeah, those are unfamiliar. Hmm. I thought it would be the Project Red stuff. But I was wrong. In any case, let's bring all the tripes. And... Let's repair our arrows the old-fashioned way. Pick up a little bit of pig iron to repair the bow, too. The bow isn't super durable. And should I bother to refill the tank on the arrows? No, I don't think so. Let's just get it back to daytime for no particular reason. And go back to spawn, get us some more glowstone keep on trying. This time, I ain't even going to be trying try and be honorable about it. I'm going to be straight digging into the sides of the pyramid, trying to find the right place to poke in to just get the sneaky books that they're hiding. My big hope is going to be that they have all kind of crawled back into their spaces where they belong. Because having that gold merman sitting on the outside... You saw how many projectiles he spews out. He is a tough cookie. If he's just the edge boss of that pyramid forever now, that's... that sucks. That would be a flaw in my poke a hole in the side of the pyramid plan. But thankfully, thankfully we got the place pretty well lit right now. Every couple of stacks of glowstone we bring down there is making it less and less of a problem to fight them. We can get more mobile, we'll miss less shots. So even if I need to face him right away, I think that I can just take him out from a distance with the vision that I have on that area now. But yes, I am not great at Minecraft combat. <laughs> that is why I do things like swim away to despawn enemies. I'm more the, uh... Build machines and find exploitative ways to find ridiculous amounts of resources type. If I'm doing combat, I want to do it with, like... Pseudo-creative mode level items like blood magic or... Draconic evolution. I'll build you a mob farm. I just won't be the farmer. Okay, and let's keep the smaller stack in the chisel. There we go. That's got us nice and stocked, I think. Fancy pants. Get rid of this. Ooh, shit. Don't throw out the tank pants. Just put away the diamonds. Might as well keep them. I think those tank pants are the only thing that's pre that prevented us from dying a couple of times. Always get confused by that turn. But yeah, Mr. Angry Pufferfish, he ain't nothing. The Merman Horde, oh, that's a problem.
You know, I, I don't think it's actually any brighter in this level of the abyss. It just doesn't look it because there's so much glowstone around. Just swim away and avoid him. He has a really short aggro range. He stops noticing you real quick. So you just duck out of the way. Mr. Pufferfish won't be a bother for you. I won't be confused by my own faulty pathfinding here. Yep. Okay. You still there, Goldilocks? He looks like he's gone back to his home. So let's just continue getting this area completely lit up. And let's try and figure out a nice where to cut into here. So if I cut in here, if nothing else, this hole has a lot of cover in it. Okay, I think that's the path back out into the entrance way. Hello. I believe we might just have something here. No. That's leading back to the entrance way. Yeah, there's the hole I cut. So then what's this about? What is your game, Yorog? There's like a current that's pushing me a little bit, making it a bit awkward to stand in this doorway. But on the other hand, I think it's actually helping me dodge a little bit. Okay, so that way is a bit of combat. Aha! This is what we're after. Or at least this is the second third of what we're after. An ancient text and Carpentry 101. In my opinion, the most important of these books. I should have brought the axe. Yeah. Okay, can I just mine these bookcases? Hell yeah, I can just mine those bookcases. <laughs> Silk Touch working on these of all things. These I can sell to the villages for uh, a nice pretty penny. Do they have any use in any of themselves? Uh, kind of. Technically. Sort of. But no, mostly I was just hoping to get a bunch of books out of them. Which I can still break them down with a tool that isn't Silk Touch. But yeah, sure, I'll just take straight-up bookcases. Why not? The Silk Touch has been absolutely fascinating in what it does and does not work on. Such a bizarre little behavior. Definitely worth keeping a silk touch tool around just to see what it works on. You can make a little game of it with yourself. Predict what's gonna happen. You know, if these mermen didn't respond, this pyramid would be a nice source of sandstone for whatever I'm gonna need sandstone for. Am I gonna need sandstone for anything? Eh. Yeah, silicon, I guess. Can crush back into sand. Brownstone. Eh. I need a little bit of sandstone. And I guess a lot if I was making silicon that way. 
which is the only way I know to make silicon right now. I don't know if there's a less expensive way anywhere in the in the pack. Okay, this is probably going to lead back up into the entrance corridor, isn't it? Yes, no, maybe so? Anyone want to spit at me? Hello, welcoming committee. Where is my complimentary bouquet? I guess everyone is dealt with? No. Hello. Yeah, they don't have much health. But good lord, are they glass cannons for how much they punch. Ah, and here we are. Three out of three. So... I should have eaten the books. I should have eaten the books where I stood. I should have just gotten out of there with home base teleport. I should have done a lot of things. Well, that sucks. That sucks. Okay, well. No, I'm not going down there without a third life. Nah, not doing it. So, let's just start remaking our stuff. Let us start. Gonna need a new pickaxe head. Gonna need to go dig up some sponge. And da 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 pick head. Yep, I apologize for that derp at the end there. That was disappointing of me, I know. I had it, and I let it fall out of my fingers. I took defeat from the jaws of victory. Okay. We're also going to need two armor plates for our new armor set. So I'm going to need six pieces of steel. Going to need more steel. So I'm going to need 16 pieces of iron, a stack of coal. Yeah, it doesn't particularly matter. It would cost the same amount of lava either way. Really, I should have just got less coal. I should have done a lot of things tonight. But that is kind of why I dread trips into the abyss. I dread combat because I am not good at it. Thankfully, with all our infrastructure and all our supplies built up, we really didn't lose anything of value except for the things that we had on hand, you know? All right. New pickaxe head. I am going to need to get a new scuba tank and go diving for some sponge. I've been meaning to get a supply of it anyway. to get my money out. New tank. New new rebreather. And I 
Oh wait, I know what the electrical engineering was. That was giving me access to... Yeah, that was giving me access to the build craft pipes. Bit odd to call it electrical engineer, but what you gonna do? I guess that there's the build craft gates and stuff in there. All right, some more armor plates. <sighs> Should I? Should I build myself a new bow and arrows and try and retrieve my stuff? It would mean that I effectively have myself a backup gear set here. I have two lives, not one. It's a risk. If I get down to one life, that is a huge risk. But is it worth it? Is it worth not having to go back down into the abyss again for a little while? Hmm. Right, and the prismarine. Gonna need five. Gonna need nine prismarine. Fancy pants are down there. Shoot. You know, I think we kind of gotta. I think we've kind of gotta. Okay. If I get down to one life, I have a backup plan. And that backup plan will be implemented next episode. Otherwise, otherwise, we'll do this. Yeah, we'll do this. Okay. I'm going to go diving for some more sponge, just so that I can pick up some more glowstone. Shouldn't be too hard to find some sponge out here. Usually you can see little piles of it along the seafloor. I should have finished my armor set so that I can swim faster. Yeah. And I need to remember that I built a moon pool. I don't need to go out the door. I should build some sort of stairs or ledge on that. Make it easier to climb up inside. Right. Armor Forge. I don't know why I didn't complete the armor. And a piece of diamond for each one. Other way around. A little bit of protection. I'm also going to need some tripes. Yeah, and those arrows, it would be kind of a pain to make more mending moss, wouldn't it? Mm. Okay. Okay, we'll give it a try. We will give it a try. It's kind of... We have a grace period right now because the uh, items are unloaded right now. So they will stay down there until we are all prepared. We have time to prepare ourselves. They won't start ticking until we get down onto that level of abyss. Then we are going to need to haul. Take all the tripes you have. Hell, I'll take your bones too and I'll sell them to the glaziers. 
I'll sell most of them to the glaziers. I'll keep a stack or two for myself. What am I doing for money? Right, and I need to make a chisel head too. You are the glazier. You are the glazier. Okay. All right, they can't. I can't overstock them on bones. They have limited storage. What, what's going on there? Is their chest full? Their chest is full of sand. That's what's going on there. Hopefully they don't get locked out of creating more glass. Like, if they use up the last of their bones and then just get filled with sand, they would lock out of creating more windows. That would suck. Millionaire villages aren't great at item management. And unfortunately, if you try and fix it by using hoppers to take items out, it breaks them. Well, it means we have a few bones in our own storage. That's not a great tragedy. Okay. Need to make a chisel. Let's just make a cheap chisel. Let's just make it out of, like, prismarine and copper. Uh, part builder. Chisel head, chisel head, chisel head. There. Tool, chisel. Good. Good enough for our purposes start to offload our equipment and right I need to find a I need to find some uh, need to find some sponge for a new silk touch pickaxe moon pool yes that's significantly better you don't notice how much aqua speed helps until you lose it Let's just go out to the flat ocean floor. That should be where we start to see sponges piling up around. As well as prismarine. They're semi-rare, but we should find a bunch of them all at once. Priz. Come on. Where are you, sponges? I am running out of body heat. Hmm. Is that moss stone? I guess I didn't need to make my own. Oh well. Sponges. That's not sponge. Yes, I was wondering for a moment where my pickaxe was, and then I remembered oh, right. I'm making it right now. Okay, if it doesn't show up, then I'll just have to do this with what materials I have available. Knowing myself, I've passed by several sponges and was just blind to them. No. 
Okay, we'll just use... We'll just use the lighting that we have. It was pretty well lit in there anyway. So, anything else I need to offload? Uh, you, you, and you. And meanwhile, I need to make a new set of arrows. Shoot, I don't have end rods. Okay, what's the best arrow shaft that I've got available? Uh, bone, blaze rod, reed. Probably reed. Just for more ammunition. Because we won't make mending moss for this. This will just be what we go in with. Why not? Vines? Oh, boy. Okay. Wood it is. Or bone or something. What's better? Wood, bone, wood, bone. Eh, the wood, I guess. Right, and I need to melt some more hard carbon for the head. Arrowhead is two, right? Just bring it all. I should still have some fetters left to make fletching. And a bowstring. This is all annoying, I know. I'm just trying to... Trying to restore some... Sense of fair play to the situation. Okay, bow. Won't have the arrows yet. I should have poured out that steel. go. Arrowhead's in there, right? Right. And yeah, it won't matter. The pickaxe. We'll just have a spare pickaxe head in storage, I guess. Okay. Da, da, da. 99 arrows, 99 shots, enough to kill anything that moves. Put all our tripes on our hot bar on every other spot. And one more try. And if this fails, then I'm going to need to start really thinking over my life. Just to double check, I'm not on one life, right? Yep, I'm on two. And this time, if I manage to find a safe spot and I manage to find all my stuff, just teleport out, Dumbo. I had everything I needed. I just had to try and be schmancy about it. Okay, down we go. And away we go. Yep. Pufferfish is no threat whatsoever. Just as long as you're speedy.
Okay, now we need to move. Need to move our butts. Ah, shit, we died right at the door, too. Not the time for a lag spike game. <sighs> okay, well, I tried. You can't say I didn't try. Let's just rebuild our equipment one last time in shame. And next time, I will have to figure out a way to get myself more lives more safely. So, do I even have... Yeah, I should be able to buy a new tank and respirator. Oh boy. Okay, well... I shouldn't have taken that steel out after all, I guess. Oh, I didn't take that steel out after all, I guess. Well, that was depressing, I know. I know. I have exactly enough silver to buy one final set. Oh, boy. Tank. Respirator. Well, I am sorry for the derp and disappointment. I am sorry for not just teleporting home. That was straight up hubris. That did me in. I was doing so well. And I thought that I could carry it all the way, but no, no, no. Okay, those. Some more bone trim. Some more prismarine. And trim, trim, trim is there. Need new leg core. Need new boot core. Need new diamonds. Maybe I should have gone in from the side where I came in the first time. Maybe I could have had a better fighting chance that way, too. Maybe I should have done a lot of things. Oh, well. Um, yeah, let's go searching one last time for some sponges. Maybe I'll have better luck. And I, I think they shouldn't spawn on this sandbank here. They should spawn out here in the like, more random wilds. So search for that fall-off point first. And let's go out a little ways into deep ocean. Maybe we'll find some out here. If I can just find one or two pieces to recreate the pickaxe. I don't want to go raiding an ocean temple for it. You've already seen how bad I am at combat. You 
you know what part of the problem was? It's that I didn't have end rods, and I didn't put fish on those arrows. So they were, like, going ten feet and then flopping. Yeah. So, shooting arrows underwater is a bit of a tricky prospect. You either need them to be made out of end rods so they just teleport through the water, or you need uh, a t to use up one of their modifiers putting two fish on it to give the arrow fins so that it flies through water. Which makes logical sense. I swear. It really does. I am not finding any damn sponges. There should be wild sponges just every so often. I've seen them before. Heck, I think the place where I got the sponge was for the first pickaxe was one of them. They should be rare, but not this rare. Am I just being blind? Maybe they are only up on the sandbar. Maybe I'm misremembering that particular fact. Yeah, let's try Standard Ocean instead of Deep Ocean. Let's see what's going on here. Just take a nice swim around the island. See what we can see. <sighs> so. This is obviously going to be the end of this episode. Next episode, we're going to be looking into some ways of breaking Millinaire so that I can get a nicer stockpile of lives back together. Because obviously I can't be trusted with... Oh boy. That nearly went badly. You do not want to mess with that guy. Where the hell are the sponges? Seriously, I swear I've seen them around. But yes, next time we will be looking at breaking Millionaire, and I think I figured out a way to do it without breaking my village. The village that I have grown grumpily fond of. So that is what we'll be doing. We'll be... We'll be going out and we'll be uh, making us a brand new village to break horribly. Won't that be fun? I am just not finding it. Well, just kind of circle back around. See if I can straddle the line between ocean and deep ocean and kind of search both simultaneously one last time. lag spike, I agree. This is the little bit of BS. Hmm. Cute little glowstone cave with some rewards chest in there. I know I haven't been picking those up. Honestly, I'm not super enthralled with what you find in rewards chest. If nothing else, I don't like having to deal with all of the coins, either having to submit them one by one into the into the quest rewards thing or having to sell them to Austin Supercar, neither is really particularly entertaining, but I feel bad throwing them out at the same time.
there just ain't any sponges. Well, we're going to have to settle for a pickaxe that ain't silk touch. Not unless we can somehow still manage to have our stuff down there next time we go down. With a lot more lives. <sighs> that sucks. That really does suck. And the shops are probably out of tripes still. Let's take our medallion just in case. Night starts to fall on us. Well, there should at least be Bud and Noir over at the pig farm. That'll do for food for now. Any decent merchants today? No, not really. There ain't no rest for the wicked in this village. I have the power of the stupid medallion. The sun is mine to command. Oh, right. I meant to go to the pig farm. Well, it doesn't matter. You regenerated your stock anyway. Let's just buy some. Because, yes, I took all the tripes out of my box in that pathetic attempt at, re at restitution. Okay. Let's reconstruct our bow and reconstruct our pickaxe and let's call it a night. Well, let's also check. Let's see if we can do one thing right today. Let's see if the village needs anything. I think they did need something and I forgot about it for a while. Yeah, they need banners. I forgot to give them banners. Let's go and let's do our good deed for the day. Let's also avoid hyperthermia. Well, the good news is that when I do go back in there with more full equipment and a ton of lives, I now have a semi-cheesy route that I know of. You know, let's just get them tons. It's fine. I'll earn back most of that gold. Not quite all of it because banners are BS, but still. bunch of banners and while we're here let's also make a cheap a cheap um, chisel just so that I can flip any windows that they happen to have stocked and let's also let's see I need one piece of prison ring for the pickaxe one for my chisel need two of these I only have one left. Neat. Let's just uh, set that onto the cooker. And now, new chisel. 
new pickaxe binding. New pickaxe. And need the tool rod. Thankfully, copper melts real fast. It's one of its defining characteristics. There we go. Yeah, prismarine, eh, it's not much less durable than hard carbon. It's fine. Durability isn't that important for a pickaxe. Not when you're done with your big decorating jobs. Okay. Get the village back advancing. Because, no, we won't be breaking this village. We've invested so much in it. Sell them their banners, flip them their windows. Ah, see, I don't even have enough money to buy a full stack of windows, but we'll fix that real quick. Yeah, I already have way more gold than I started this endeavor with. And hopefully those glaziers won't get locked. I suppose if the glaziers get locked, then yeah, I will have to break this village. Well, would it break the village if I just unstuck the glazier? I don't know. They have Calva. Why can't I have Calva? I don't think Calva would have helped. Not in that last... Not just when I poke my head into the big open corridor and get absolutely wrecked by a whole crowd of them all at once. It might have made me survive a second or two longer. Okay. Put the tripes away. The spare tripes, I should say. And end off the night making us a new, a new bow and arrow. No, you know what? Mm, yeah, that's going to take more end rods. And I don't want to venture into the forest on one life. So we're going to have to do that without... Let's at least make a sword, just so that we have something. So what's the best sword blade that's available to us? Uh, I believe it should be steel. Attack six. Just scroll through them real quickly. Yeah, see attack five for hard carbon. Yeah. If I could get Mandulian, it'd be nice. If I could get Magma Slime, it'd be nice. Hmm. Prismarine is slightly better than steel for attack? So it is. And it ain't that much worse for durability. Okay. I'm game. And let's just make a copper tool rod. And let's just make a wood guard. Shoot, do I have the patterns? No, I don't. I don't have the patterns to make a wide guard. Well, we can fix that real quick. Nine of those, four of those, bunch of those. Patterns. There. And from there, all I should need is the sword blade. And the wide guard. There we 
go. And there we go. And once more, the copper tool rod. There we go. And broadsword. Yeah, it does okay. Well, I know that on many levels this episode was disappointing. It was disappointing to me too. I disappointed myself. But, next episode, we are going to have to break into the dairy section and harvest some cheese. I will see you then.